Hi guys, welcome back to the house with all the kids. Thanks for visiting us again. Yes, I am in our closet. And that's because while well, I'm hiding from our children. And I do have a chocolate stash in here, just so you know. I know a lot of you mamas out there know exactly what I'm talking about. But that's not why I'm in here today, which I probably will get a few pieces when I'm done. But the reason I'm in here hiding today is because I have some exciting news to share with you guys. And I didn't want the kids to hear all of it. So uh, tomorrow morning, we will be getting a new foster care placement, a baby girl. And uh, the kids are aware that they're getting a new foster baby sister tomorrow, but is what they're not aware of, they do not know, is that she is actually a sibling to some of our already adopted children. So that's going to be the real exciting part for them probably a little emotional a little exciting both so um, today we're going to be uh, preparing for her and getting the her all of her stuff out and clothes out and washed and put away and her crib out and all that good stuff to prepare for her she um, is actually coming in from another state uh, she was uh, placed in a temporary foster home until uh, we get all the legal stuff and paperwork and all that taken care of for her to be moved here to Michigan. Um, so I've been in constant touch with the foster parents that she's with right now and they are amazing people. I just love them. I've really gotten to know them. Um, so we're really looking forward to meeting them and they have so graciously offered to actually bring her here, which they did not have to do. They have volunteered to do that and that is amazing. Um, so we're going to have breakfast ready for them in the morning when they get here with her and we are really looking forward to meeting them and talking with them and getting to know baby girl which we will refer to her as baby girl because we can't legally say her name and unfortunately we'll have to blur her cute little face out too when you guys see her because we can't show her on camera so we are very excited that we are again able to keep siblings together because that is my husband and I is goal that is really really important to us and dear to us is to be able to keep siblings together and so we're really happy to be able to do that again for our kids <clears throat> they've lost so much already that we just feel very strongly that they should not have to lose their siblings so that's going to be the exciting part too is watching that happen Are you ready for your new baby sister to come tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited? Yeah. What are you going to do for her? What are you going to do for a baby sister? Coke. Me. Huh? Too. You're going to watch a movie with her? You're going to watch Callie Cat? What else are you going to do with her? Huh? Go. 
else are you going to do? Are you going to maybe feed her? Huh? Are you going to sleep with her? You are? Oh, you think so? Yeah, you can share your room with her? Huh? You think you're going to share her room? Yeah? Are you excited? Are you happy? Are you happy? Tell mommy how happy you are. You happy? Yes. Brothers? Brothers can't come into your room. Are you going to let the baby come in your room? Are you going to let the baby come in your room? No. No? She'll make a mess. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. You're talking me, telling me that your brothers came in here and trashed your room, didn't they? Yeah. Did that make you mad? Did that make you mad? Huh? Did that make you mad? Are you going to eat? Yeah. Yeah, look at mommy. I can't see you. Can you turn so you can see mommy? There you go. Now, what are you trying to say? Look at mommy. Use your signs, baby. What? Are you excited about the little baby coming? Yeah? Baby. Baby. Yes. You gonna help mommy take care of her? What are you gonna do for her? Eat. You're gonna feed her? Help her eat? Okay. What else are you gonna do? Are you gonna change her diaper for me? Ew. <laughs> You're not gonna help mommy with that, huh? <laughs> All right, you don't have to help mommy with that. Mommy will do that part. Ew. Ew. <laughs> you can do the fun stuff like love on her, cuddle with her, give her hugs and kisses, feed her her bottles. Do you want to do all that stuff with her? Give her kisses? Yeah. You could do that stuff, right? Mommy will do the diaper changing. I do. Yeah? Look at Mama. Two. Yeah? Amberlynn has a proxy of speech, so she is very good with sign language. Aren't ya? But she's actually starting to say some words now, so we're really excited about that. Baby. Baby sister. Yeah? Yeah, no, the boys did come in your room. I know it. But no. Yeah, baby sister won't do that, will she? The baby girl won't come in here and trash your room like your brothers did. No, you were mad about that, weren't you? Look at that face. That's your mad face? <laughs> Show me your happy face. Yeah. Hi, Mom. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, good morning, you guys. It's the next day. We are waiting for baby girl to get here. She should be here in about an hour. I have my daughter, Asia, here. She is helping me make breakfast so far. Got our cinnamon rolls ready to go in the oven. And we got us a nice breakfast casserole going on in the oven. So we're just waiting. Are you excited for baby to get here? Yay. Yeah. Yeah? So happy? Yay. Yay. Oh, and you too? Are you happy, baby girl, to get here? Yes. Yeah, she's going to be here really soon, isn't it's she? Baby. Yeah, pretty soon. Be They'll be here. Yes. Yeah, pretty soon. Yes. 
And Amberlynn's super excited too, aren't you? Are you happy for baby girl to get here? Nathan, what did you just steal off mommy's oven? What did you do? Look at mommy, did you steal something off of the top of the oven? Show me. You silly boy. Mom? I think Jonah's upset. Oh, great. You started something now. And mommy has your favorite. Look up here. We got your fruit platter for you. And me. Ooh, and you. Me. Pretty soon she'll me. be here. Me. Hi. You're not in the shop. Oh. They are here. Guys, now that you're looking at her more, can you see Jonah in her? 
No. Grandma did say that. I in case she has don't Jonah's really face. see Jonah. I see Jonah a lot at her. I thought for sure you guys would have noticed that. But yeah. You really I do? See too much. Yeah. I don't see Oh, more. yeah. I see a lot of Jonah in her. Their huh. cheeks are both chubby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody dismissed her pants. I felt it. <laughs> Pooping on me. <laughs> Hi guys, what a crazy, awesome couple days we've had with baby girl. Um, she is doing amazing. She is settling in great. Uh, all the kids are completely in love with her, including me and Tom. Sam, Ava, and Jonah are just so happy, especially Ava. She is beyond happy to have her baby sister with her. And that just comes back tenfold to Tom and I that we know we're doing the right thing because we've recently changed our license to taking in only siblings of our current children. We used to be you know, just open for any child that needed to be taken in for foster care. But after adopting um, several children, we changed our license to taking in siblings only because we didn't want to by chance be full and not be able to take in a sibling if one was needed, needed to be brought into care. So that is our primary goal now is to make sure that our children can have their siblings with them if by chance there are more siblings that need to be brought into care. Another reason why my family has decided to do these videos is to hopefully encourage someone out there to become foster parents. There is just unfortunately not enough homes I mean, all across the US. There's just not enough homes out there, um, especially for large sibling groups or teenagers. Um, teenagers can be um, removed at you know, 15, 16 years old and there's either not a foster home available that is appropriate for them or the foster home just doesn't want to take in teens. So then they will be placed with um, either a group home or in a shelter of some kind and then a lot of times they're never placed in a family foster home they will remain at this shelter or group home until they age out of the system, until they turn 18 years old, with never really being able to experience that happy home life. And that is really sad. So if you feel that you could become a foster parent, um, by all means, please just call your local agency and just see what steps you have to take. In, in your area to become a foster parent. I mean, just take it slow and get all the research, you know, all the information, do all the research that you can do and um, see if you can help out anyway. It's, it's definitely a tough road, a tough life, but it's also an extremely rewarding life. Um, I mean, yes, we have eight, no, 19 children now and uh, we definitely have our hard times and our hard days. Um, a lot of these children come with trauma and issues and, and things that are tough. And uh, it can be hard, but there's also just a lot of laughter, a lot of good times, a lot of rewards, just like bringing baby girl in here. Um, that was extremely rewarding. I mean, watching her siblings all be together. I mean, it, it doesn't get better than that. And you know, we've been able to do that a few times now for our children and it's amazing. But um, <clears throat> like I said, we are just taking in siblings now. Um, so we are very grateful and very happy that we were able to take in baby girl. And um, I'm sorry that you didn't get a good view of her yet. Hopefully you will soon but we will definitely keep you updated on everything that she's doing, new things, and let you guys just kind of be on our journey with her and with everyone else. You know, if uh, there's anything that you guys want to know, questions about foster care, about adoption, 
about you know how we do things here with everyone um please don't hesitate to ask um private message me comments below whatever um i'm here to help anybody that is wants that is interested in doing any type of foster care or anything with the system okay guys i have baby girls biological siblings here they've got ava jonah and samuel and they just kind of want to share with you a little bit about how they feel about being able to have their sibling placed with them. So what do you think, Ava? I'm really, 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 really happy she's here. Yeah. What do you think? Are you happy that you get to have your little sister with you? Yes. <laughs> yes? Do you love her? Yes. <laughs> how about you, Samuel? What do you think? I feel happy that she was placed with us because we're grateful our parents were to take her in because if not, she could have been placed with someone else. Okay, guys, you know how it works. Um, if you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to uh, see more content like this, um, by all means, please subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any videos, don't forget to hit the notification bell. But um, I will be posting more videos about foster care, and we've got some videos coming up about homeschooling and all that good stuff, some funny stuff coming up too. So if you don't want to miss it, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks again for visiting us. Bye-bye.